Um, on, on, on average, you get about what? Let me see. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you get between 14 and 15 spell limits on average. It's showtime. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? It is Lost Griff. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the elemental and balance spell elements the quickest in Wizard 1. Now, there's a lot of bosses around this Plaza of Conquest area where you can get spell elements from and stuff, as far as I know. But as of right now, the absolute best way to get it, in my opinion, is Boris Black Rock. Because you have to do a little, like a very minimal amount of walking. In fact, you can spawn him right after you defeat him. Um, now, after you get defeated, if you're on your max wizard, or you know a friend's helping or whatever you can immediately summon up the crystal and then and then immediately fight him once again once you get rid of your invisibility so as a, as it is right now i believe this is the best spot to get some spell elements for elemental imbalance um now there are some other fights like there is sea lord um sea lord drops uh two or two to six elemental and, and uh balance um there's a lot of fights that dragon spy that drop this but i would say right now this is the quickest way to get elemental spell elements in wisdom 101 um now I'll show you an example of how many spell elements I get in a second. I uh, usually get about 14 to 15 per, and I've done literally about two hours of farming, and this is already what my spell element book looks like. As you can see, I have a crazy amount. I will say though, they drop balance the least. Um, balance seems to be glaringly getting a much smaller amount. I'm sure there's a better place you can get balance ones at, but uh, I would say this is much better if you want to farm for fire. Um, it seems like fire and storm just have the highest drop tables, but uh, maybe that could just be my RNG, I'm not sure. But overall, elemental drops like crazy here. Um, and as you can see, I'm almost, you know, I'm, I'm over, you know, halfway to getting uh, tier tier two on all of my spells, which is insane. Um, you get about on average 700 every hour. So if you do the math, I mean, there's only what? I mean, I'll do the math real quick. So on average, um, considering the math and considering you know the, your luck. You could take between 4 and 10 hours to get everything, um, depending on your luck, like I said. I'm not sure how that would affect balance. You'd probably only get tier 3 by the time you get max everything else. But, um, it only takes you about 200 to, like, 400 fights to get everything you need. Um, for elemental and maybe even for balance, depending on your luck. So, overall, this is a pretty efficient way. And, uh, honestly, I can't really see, um, you know how it's even worse than most farming uh, techniques and and whiz i mean if you look at dragoon dragon took much longer to get all seven or, or at least even four full sets back in the day so i mean i don't think this this farming method is too bad um you get spellments really quickly and if you're looking for triton and if you're looking for phoenix these are the two quickest way or this is the two quickest ways sea lord and boris blackrock personally because of their low HP and their, you know, non-difficult moves. The worst thing Boris does is usually Tower Shield, but it only happens every 20, 30 runs, if that. So, again, um, I highly recommend you come by Dragon Spire, do some farming here. And let me just show you guys what kind of uh, drops you get around here. So, here's an example. So, basically, this Max player um, is just carrying, like, two or three people. Um, and basically, what you want to do is you just want to get a Max Wizard to help out um, a low level. Um, now you need this level to be uh, before you finish Dragon Spire, so I would say like probably on average under level 50, um, but it depends on if you're done or not. Um, so all you have to do is usually just faint once, and then either Phoenix or like Brimstone or like uh, what else? I mean, you can, I guess you could use Kraken with a faint. Um, just do something that will automatically one-shot him, no matter if he tower shields or weaknesses you. Um, and as you can see, uh, he dies because uh, he only has 5,600 HP, and then you get. Uh, in total, about 14 spell months on average. So thank you. Um, on, on, on average, you get about, what? Let me see. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you get between 14 and 15 spell months on average, which is insane. But yeah, guys, um, that's about it. Um, I do recommend you check out Dragon Spire. There's a lot of people out there who have their different strategies for elemental, for spiritual, for balance, etc. But I would say this is just the best spot to get uh, elemental. Expect a spiritual video soon. I'm kind of working on that, but I'm, I'm going to get my elemental ones first simply because, you know, I have a max fire, max storm, and I got to start being on them soon for content. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. I appreciate it. All of the support on the recent videos. I support, or, or I'm, I'm happy you guys have been supporting my content, and I'm always here to upload every single day for you guys and make some great content for you guys. So again, make sure you drop that sub, 
because only a small percent of you guys are actually subscribed. So make sure you do that for me, and I appreciate that. So good luck for me, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. See ya.